Greetings again everyone, we are the third group of STEM Euler and we are going to present to you one of the many Thai traditional games. This game is called Dern Kala. Dern Kala or in English coconut shell shoes uses strings attached to coconut shells. It is one of the many string games in the country Thailand. The origin of Dern Kala this game is widely played in different countries in Southeast Asia, which includes Thailand. There are more than 1,200 Thai traditional games, including the Dern Kala, or referred to as Coconut Shell Walking Game. This game originated in the era of the Sukho Thai Kingdom in 1238 to 1438. Hundreds of years later, during the reign of Rama VI, the games became famous among Thai children. The objective of Dernkala is to reach the end line using the Dernkala, which are coconut shells attached to strings. The fastest one to reach the other point wins. It can be played by pair or by group. Again, the objective of the game is to reach the end line while standing on two half coconut shells and must keep the rope or strings between the first two toes to keep balance and start moving on them as quickly as they can. In a group game, the same objective applies where each player of a team would compete in relay and the team who moves the fastest while standing on the Dern Kala wins the game. This game requires a minimum of one player. It can be played alone, in pairs, or teams. Both boys and girls can play. The player who can move the fastest wins the game. Learn Kala can be played by teams or by individual as long as it entails wide open spaces large enough for players or player to walk on their coconut shells with free motions to avoid colliding with other players or nearby objects. Moreover, Dern Kala can be played as a racing game which needs a running track with starting and end points to set boundaries along with consistent surface to ensure players' balance and body coordination. One of the materials that is needed in playing Dern Kala is a pair of hemispherically half coconut shells. Since the name of the game itself literally means coconut walking in English, there should really be an essential utilization of a pair of coconut shells by the players. These shells are then drilled to form holes from which or from where the other material will be affixed. Next item is the string or rope which you will attach to the coconut shell. This string or rope is where you are going to hold to have a full control over the coconut shell. Rules of the game. Turn Kala. Each player stands on a coconut shell and holds the string. After standing on the coconut shell, they will start the game by walking. They have to walk as quickly as possible and whoever arrives at the finish line first is the winner. The players must hold the strings attached to the coconut shells and must walk faster in order to reach the finish line and to win the game. Now for the values we can get from playing this game, Dern Kala reflects the way of life and values of the people in the Thai community from past until present. It gives players the values of patience by patiently trying to walk with the coconut shoes on. They also gain responsibility and honesty by following the rules of the game properly and not cheat their way through it to win. And lastly, playing Dern Kala can build a sense of camaraderie and teamwork for the players through coordinating and working together since the game can be played in pairs and teams. In addition, playing Dernkala will definitely boost the sense of sportsmanship for every player. Since this is a racing game, the players will learn how to accept defeat if he or she will lose the game. Also, aside from being a friendly competition, this game can be a fun game to play during your vacant time with your friends or with your family. Dernkala is one of the traditional games played in Thailand. It is a game where players race with each other while standing on a coconut shell that is cut in half, drilled with holes and connected by a string. 
This game is very similar to the Filipino game called Sangkayaw and it is usually played by children who are over 6 years old for entertainment. Just like Sangkayaw, the player who reaches the finish line first will be declared as the winner of the game. I've come to the conclusion that this game demonstrates coordination. It's a sign of our culture's similarities and unity throughout the Southeast Asia. It brings joy to the players, help them to focus on their objectives, and use environmentally friendly materials as a respect to their traditional toys. Overall, this game helps an individual's capacity to utilize self-discipline to become a quick and purposeful individual. Even in the simplest form of the game, Dernkala reflects Asia's delight.